Chiba Hut's run of 10 years in Tucson came to a four-month halt that started in early December when its previous owners Steve and Colleen Bigelow announced on Facebook the marijuana-themed sub shop would be closed for personal reasons. The new co-owners of the Tucson Chiba Hut, Josh Willett and Dorian Ray Lenz, were able to purchase back the same property as they had here on 6th Street before. However, Willett said that even though this building behind me had been Chiba Hut since the summer of 2004, they had to start from scratch to reopen it. It was totally different. We had to go to the city, reapply for licenses, and get a new health inspection in here, and safety inspection. So it was almost like opening a new store with us since the original did close down. Chiba Hut officially reopened for business in Tucson on April 4th. But the grand opening of the event will be on April 20th, the unofficial holiday of marijuana use. Chiba Hut corporate supervisor Joshua Donaldson is in charge of franchise grand openings and said he expects the line to be out the door. While he would not disclose past results or an estimation of how much money Chiba Hut makes on this holiday, Donaldson said numbers will at least be double than that of regular business days. Out of all of our Chiba Huts, the 16 stores that we have, 420 is our day. Uh, each and every single one of them, no matter what year it is, every single year, we do a, a celebration. Willett and Donaldson both said the traffic of business in Tucson has shown no decline of where it was before closing as one of Chiba Hut's most successful franchises. When they told us it was closing down, we were all pretty scared. We didn't know if there was going to be another one. We heard of another one opening in a different location that was further from school, and it was, it was pretty, pretty scared. Currently, Tucson's Chiba Hut has a staff of 30. Willett said a third of them worked here when the Bigelows owned the franchise. Reporting for Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Joey Petrello.